Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today we are going to be doing this seamless install and how I did these micro beaded wefts at home. Right now in the back section I have just three layers of tracks that I've already done and I decided to do this um, while I was already trying this style for the first time. So this is why you see me um, starting kind of mid install, but this is super seamless. It looks just like my hair. You can see that we can put it right up into a ponytail and it's super seamless and not even at all clockable. So I wanted to kind of show you how I got this style, how I made these extensions myself and how I installed them today. I'm going to voiceover style, but I'll also have some information listed on the screen. So pay attention to the screen. I'll also have everything listed in the description box with links for your convenience. A lot of things were found on Amazon, so they're super convenient. Nobody can tell me that this is not my hair. Like, this is all me right here. All me. So, without further ado, let's get started on how I made these extensions. Catch me dangerous. Been so lost without you all around me. Get anxious. were pretty easy but it was time consuming so what you're going to do is first place your needle through the bottom of your weft and then back through the top of the weft you're going to place a bead just like this and then pull that needle through so that the bead is at the base of your weft now we're going to go right back through the bottom of the weft and you notice that the bead is flat against the weft. You're going to kind of turn it so that the top and the bottom are the open sides of the bead. And basically you just want your bead to be kind of taut on your weft in the right position. Now we're going to come back through the top of the weft. We're going to go through the top of the bead out through the bottom. and then through the bottom of the weft. And you're gonna to wanna to do that two or three times, sewing through the top of the weft, through the bead, and then back through the bottom of the weft. Once we've secured that bead on the weft, we're gonna go ahead and tie it off. But I do wanna highlight that I did go ahead and double weft these wefts so it's not just one single track these wefts are two tracks that I sewed together on my sewing machine and that was just because I wanted a lot of volume and a lot of body for my hair so I think this is about the last time I'm going to so we're gonna go ahead and tie that string so that everything is taut so I used silicone thread for this process because I believe that it is gentle on natural hair. The beads are also lined with the silicone, so I thought that that would be smart to just use silicone thread rather than regular thread. Perfect, and here we have one bead on our weft. This weft is going to have about five beads. Look at that back, it's super flawless and we're going to go ahead and fold it in the middle we're going to put a bead on the opposite side one in the middle and then we're going to put two beads on those middle sections right here and right here and this is what that's going to look like with five beads on this left i'll have the number and the length of each weft that I created, but you're going to want to measure your head to see what length you need your wefts to be. 
but all of that information is going to be in the bottom section in the description box You just saw a little preview of how we're installing these extensions. Now I'm going to go into detail about placement and technique. I have a three-way mirror in front of me, but I have super high ceilings and the doors are way too high. So I also needed my camera and viewfinder to see the back of my head. The mirror will be listed below. I have this back section finished. The track placement is fully up to you. I just have three wefts with about five beads placed in this section. You want to make sure you have about one and a half inches to two inches of hair left on the side perimeters to cover your wefts and before placing your wefts make sure to test to see if they will lay flat in a ponytail. You also want to make sure you're closing your beads close to your scalp, not too tight pulling your hair. You can see that this is a little loose because this was my first time doing it. Make sure you're closing your beads not too close to the scalp but also not too loose because you want it to be taut. I'm going to point at my laptop viewfinder and that's really helping me see it in the back of my head. But for your parting, you want to make sure you have nice, neat, straight parts so that you don't have any unwanted hair getting pulled into your beads. I place the track upside down by the part and I use two alligator clips to hold it in place. Notice I'm leaving about two inches of space on either side. I like doing it this way because I can see the bead and I can get as close to my scalp without pulling too much hair. And when I flip it down, it is nice and neat, and the tracks are laid right on top of that part. I'm just going to go ahead and throw my hair up in a claw clip so that it's out of the way. So I'm going to start with the crochet needle technique. I'm going to take my crochet needle, I'm going to make sure that the crochet needle part is open. And then you're going to stick your crochet needle through the top of the bead. Now you're going to come down to that section and grab a section of hair. You don't want to grab too much. You don't want to grab too little. So go ahead and close your crochet needle or try to. And then I'm just going to pull that section through the bead. You're going to pull it straight through so that the ends come through as well. And I'm just going to move any unwanted hair from that section so that all of the hair is pulled through and there aren't any little stragglers who are halfway in and halfway out. Now you're gonna grab your plier, you're gonna place it underneath the weft and on top of that bead, and you're going to clamp it shut. Make sure it is closed. You don't want 
it to be loose and I'll show you why later but clamp it completely closed. For sectioning, I parted the crown of my head from ear to ear and for the back section I did tracks going straight from left to right and then towards the front I placed the extensions on diagonally so that they would fall towards my face and be easily placed in a ponytail seamlessly. Right here, I'm just parting right across. You can see I have a clip here holding the end of an extension. That's because I didn't close the bead completely, so the hair got caught. Um, when I tried to open the bead with the plier, I ended up mangling the bead and my hair was really caught. I was waiting for the remover plier to be delivered, so I had to make do. I just clamped a clip in on this section so that it wouldn't pull on my hair. But I suggest getting the remover pliers because they are so much easier to remove the beads than using the actual plier that you use to install. A lot of people say you can use the regular plier, but I warn you, it's so much easier and safer to remove it with the remover plier. Okay, so for this section, I'm going to use the loop tool because I prefer it over the crochet needle tool. I feel like you get more control over your sections this way and you get just like a nicer, cleaner finish. So we're going to part out a section of hair. Make sure it's not too big, make sure it's not too small. You want it to be just right under that bead. You don't want it to the left, you don't want it to the right. Directly under that bead. So get your section and then remove any unwanted hair from that section, any strays that is not going to go into that bead. And here we are, we have our section. So now we're gonna go ahead and place the crochet, not the crochet, sorry. Now we're gonna go ahead and place the loop through the bead. We're gonna place our fingers through the loop. We're going to grab that section and then pull it directly through that loop. Once the hair is through the loop, we're gonna pull the loop through the bead. And now we're just gonna adjust to make sure that everything is aligned and then make sure there's no stray hairs. And now we're gonna take our pliers and we're gonna clamp this bead shut making sure to make sure it's taut but not tight you don't want to feel any pulling or any discomfort you just want it to be taut and i'm going to do this a couple of times to show you how i parted off the hair how i removed any unwanted hair and how i did the loop method and then we're just going to go ahead and do that throughout this section Black, beautiful 
beautiful, powerful girl, it's a fact. You took the lead, now it's time to re ride with me, slide with me. Girl, it's cold, come inside with me. When you do that thing, I'm high, baby. My lady, my queen. Anything you want, it's yours. I'm shining for you in my armor. Yes, I love you. See your armor. Guilty as charged, no, please, your honor. Girl, your walls are brave. Your beauty's really blinding my mind I don't mind Lead me on, what will I find? God's design Perfect craftsmanship, you're so divine And your mind We've got so much time Hey, that senorita I, I know you wanna go down Nice to meet you I, I feel it coming Slow down Chase it, baby. Take my time and drive you crazy. That's how I like it, baby. And we slow down. Slow down. Take it easy. So this is what your track is gonna look like when you kind of flip it back over. And this is what I mean by clean sections. You see that the track is laid right near the part and it's a pretty clean section that's why i like that upside down method i think it just gives you a clean finish so i went ahead and combed everything out just making sure that there are no stray hairs or any tangles and i'm going to just continue doing this straight tracks up the section and then the diagonal tracks towards the front but that is pretty much it for this install you see how seamless it is it can be pulled up into a ponytail it can be let down and it literally looks just like my hair so many compliments on this style so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope that this was kind of an informative tutorial um and i hope that you guys try this at home but this is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for subscribing we are at 680 subscribers thank you thank you thank you we're so close to 700 and even so close to a thousand subscribers so i hope to see you guys in the next one i hope you guys like and leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this style would you personally try it would this be something that you can see yourself doing for yourself and let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys 